Hey guys, how the bloody hell are you? The postman's been, yes. Gotta love when the postman's been. And we've got the Bronco out on the bench. So, let's have a look at what we've got in the bag. First of all, we have new alloy bead locks. And we are going up to 2.2s. Yes. Not only do we have bead locks and 2.2s, we've got brass. Yes, brass, lots of brass. So, what we're going to do, instead of just throwing it all on there and, you know, taking it for a test run, we're going to put it all on there in stages. So, we're going to put the bead locks on first, then we'll take it outside and we'll do like a test run. We'll bust out the 55 degree slope and then see how far we can go up and so forth. Then we will add the front brass and test it again. We'll add the rear brass and retest it again. We're gonna weigh up all this stuff as we put it all together and find out what weight we're actually adding to the vehicle. Um, we'll talk about any issues that we're gonna come across with guards, scrubbing or anything like that and sort all that out as well, guys. So. Uh, Let's get into the video. All right, guys, you can see there's a completed wheel there, but without the uh, hubcap put back on it, obviously, which goes in there. Now, you can see you've got two completed wheels on there, but I thought when I came down to the last one, I'd give you guys a bit of a, a rundown and a breakdown on how to put it together in case you were thinking of buying some for yourself. But I also promised that we'd weigh up some things and, like, you know, get some facts on some weights. So we've got some little scales here. That rim is 178 grams on its own. This tire is 175 grams on its own. A stock wheel only weighs about 150 oh. we're going just over the load limit all right so we'll get another stock tire oh, that that there weighs 176 grams complete so that's your rim tire and everything for basically a stock tire, now they weigh about the same, so that must be just a bit more. So, what we do, get rid of them. You've got this collar, so the rim comes like this, all bolted together. You've got this collar on the back of it, so you simply unbolt your collar like that, screw into there. That collar comes off like so. This one comes off. And here, you get your wheel. And you've got to stretch it right down into there. I didn't say this was going to be easy. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. I wouldn't recommend it. But hey, if you want them, if you want bead locks, you got to do it. But the one thing I do really like about bead locks as opposed to stock tyres is waterproof. You never get any water inside a bead lock tyre. Okay, first side. Bring it up. And back and over. And into that there. Then you slide this down into there like so. Now this side, again, is a bit of a pain. So what you do is you bring it 
up and over and now back down into that collar there so now so this wasn't easy not at all yeah. so now there's like a little rim around there on the inside of the tire so you put this collar you got to stretch it into that rim that collar sorry like so I haven't got my hole quite lined up that's better I'm sorry if this is going to end up being a long video guys, I'll try and make it as quick as I possibly can, but if you want to know how to do it, right, so now you just press that collar down and get your first screw a few threads in. Same here, just a few threads in. Right, so now that we've got a pretty even clamp around it, go around and put your others in. Well, just a few threads Shouldn't be happy about that. That last screw has got to be in there somewhere. There it is. Doesn't want to play cricket. Right, so now that you've got them all in, you just go around and start to tighten them all up. But like any standard wheel, go every second one. So you've worked your way around. Once you've gone around once, then go around to your others. Voila, and we have a beadlock. So now we've got to take the hub off the centre. So you simply just unscrew that. But I won't make you sit through all that. What we'll do, throw these tyres, two wheels on. Well, let's go and give it a test run, guys. All right, guys, you can see I have reconstructed the staircase of doom. So I don't know if you remember, or anyone that's new to the channel, uh, in the TRX4 versus the SEX102, we had the staircase out. Now the open wheel SEX102 climbed this staircase a lot better, and the TRX4 actually struggled a little bit, but it made it eventually. So here is the first stage of our testing. We've only got the alloy beadlocks and new tyres on. Let's see how we go at getting to the top, guys. Do. Oh, oh, we're going off the 
inside here. We had to have to do a little bit of guard trimming. All right, and we have just made it. All right, guys, we've got the ramp out again here. Now, remember the last video, we know that at stock standard with the stock tires and the stock wheels on it, it stopped at 55 degrees and absolutely struggled to get up the slope. So we are starting at 55 degrees here and we're gonna give these wheels and tires a run at 55 degrees, see if it does that easier. Then we're gonna go up from there until it fails. Let's go guys. pretty easy that did the 55 degree slope a lot easier than what the stock wheels and tires did so let's now go up and see what happens guys right hey guys we've gone up to 57 degrees so now we'll give this a lash There you have it guys, 57 degrees and it absolutely cannot do it on its own. So now we're gonna split this video into two halves so that I don't bore the hell out of you in one video. What we're gonna do in the next video, we're gonna start adding all the brass. Then once we've added all the brass, we're gonna retest the stock tires and see how the stock tires do with the brass. So you just get a really good idea of which direction you might want to go for yourselves if you want to modify whether you want to spend money on beadlocks or brass um, so yeah for this video that's it peace out guys